Well, I mean, there's probably a lot more reasons for you to get angry at me than just not me not drinking water. B again? Okay, finally left Hanoi today um, after uh, three or four lovely days and nights staying with uh, Rose and Loi or uh, Zhang and Loi. Uh, Vietnamese couple that I met through Couchsurfing, they were awesome. <laughs> Enjoy the fast way up. <laughs> Here's my very messy bed and bedroom. bike ride, stopped for some uh, chada, chada, which is like super strong green tea, super tasty, uh, little roadside stalls, feeling pretty good, pretty healthy, finally got a dance in today after the big bike, and I've got some fruit here, have a tasty, uh, I'm not sure what it is actually, it might be a sweet saw, comfy in a $7 hotel room here in Thai and Guyan after I guess 90k bike ride today. Feeling pretty good. It was hot, hot day. Tomorrow I think I'm gonna put in a big day, uh, probably all the way to Babe Lake, which I'm not sure how far it is yet. But it. Hello! <laughs> I'm here at Ba Bay Lake National Park, Vietnam. Beautiful place. I uh, just biked here up some pretty big hills and down some pretty big hills. And I'm just cruising around, checking it out. It's uh, pretty awesome. Did a dance earlier. I think the villagers here think I'm a bit nuts for sure. It's good to be here. Beautiful. Hãy subscribe 
This is the type of terrain I've been traveling through for the past couple days. Beautiful mountains, lots of mountains, lots of up and down, but it's been awesome. Vietnam by bicycle. I wanted to head up into the mountains so I could get some fresh air. And there's certainly quite a bit of that. Although not right here because there's that smoking plant. I just didn't quite realize how up and down the roads would be in the mountains. I knew there was some of that, but there's a lot more than expected. Very rare to see cars. There's a few of them. Mostly motorbikes, a few buses. Yeah, it's beautiful. Sinjo! Today was a beautiful day. One of the most stunning cycling days I've ever had in my life. A lot of ups and downs. It's going through mountains with rice patties all over the place and tea and coffee and dragon fruit and bananas and corn. I wasn't expecting to see so much corn here in Vietnam. Uh, I met some guys on motorbikes from, I think they're from, one guy's from Canada, I think one guy's from Australia, another guy from the US. Pretty fun. Ooh, look, there's a whole bunch of duckies down there. I'm gonna show you. Look at all those duckies. Yeah, this is the view from my hotel room right now. It's a pretty crazy hotel room. It's got soundproofing on the walls. <laughs> it's a funny looking place, but pretty sweet. For about 10 bucks, I'm paying for this place. So I stopped at this nice little eatery uh, alongside the road heading towards Mio Vac here in northern Vietnam and uh, came across these, uh, what I thought was honey and honeycombs, but I came closer and realized that it was a uh, wasp uh, nest filled with wasp larvae. And the lady here was uh, taking the larvae out of the nest and I, I found it fascinating as all the little larvae in there and I wasn't sure what they were doing with it but uh, then of course I got invited to taste it so they've given me a tasty little plate here it's filled with larvae and some other green not sure what it is these are the little larvae gotta give it a try right they taste sort of pasty high in protein they're okay not really my favorite food though gotta try everything once though right and I think uh, Maybe bug larvae are the food of the future. Good source of protein. I think they could use some better flavoring though, maybe. Not bad though, pretty good. I'm grateful to try them.